Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Fahad Dawda. I talk about real estate in Dubai or anywhere in the world. Talk about life, your path to financial freedom. Let's talk about life today. But before I do, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. I personally think that I've got the information, uh, the knowledge that I've converted into usable information that's going to help you through this current situation that we're living through. Uh, some of you might know this, some of you might know this, but I'm old enough to be in the working arena, have my own real estate company during the global financial crisis. So I've lived through that. I've had some harrowing experiences. And it's funny, I had a friend of mine uh, a week ago just asking me, how did you survive that, right? Uh, and I personally think that there's things that I could perhaps tell you that you might be able to relate to that might help you move from where you might feel, feel, you're stuck or you might be stuck for the next one month, two months, whatever the case is, to where you need to be to take care of yourself, your family, your children, your parents, people who are dependent on you. You got to man up and stand up and take charge, okay? Give you a little bit of a background on myself. Uh, born and raised in Dubai, I moved to Canada in 2000 and from 2000 to 2007, I pretty much lived in Toronto, Canada. 2007, I moved here. Uh, I end up setting up a company with a partner, real estate company. Everything's formalized. We're doing a little bit of real estate transactions in 2008. 2008, August, I go off to get married, okay? Now, 2008 is when the global financial crisis really started taking over. But what we had done with all the little money that we made, about half a million uh, dirhams at that time, we'd already invested into property. So we didn't have a lot of savings. We'd already invested, right? <sighs> but anyways... Things really hit the roof fast with that global financial crisis, right? So everybody knows the story. The globe suffered. Dubai suffered as well, right? Everybody knows famous stories about people not being able to pay their debts. My partner had to leave the country, go back to the US, so on and so forth. And I kind of basically straddled real estate, did some other jobs between 2009 and up to almost 10 for about a year and a half. Uh, I was married. I had my wife to take care of. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, I'm blessed with my parents being here, my uh, sister, my brother, everybody based here. Everybody was in a job. So, you know, uh, I, had, I had them at least for moral, emotional, and in some cases, financial support as well. They were there to help me out. Uh, but I didn't stop doing in the little bit here and there to keep myself going. But one thing I'm going to tell you that I learned from that time that I am making sure that I'm applying to the current scenario. And that is, guys, listen to this please very carefully. Your future belongs to your mind. Okay, so I've just coined this. I was actually going to say uh, what's going to happen to you is going to be based on your thoughts and your thoughts are the ones that you're going to be focusing on and whatever you focus on is the future that you're going to be having. But let's just simplify it and succinctly. Uh, I'm not known for a man of few words, but trying to make a longer story short this time, your future belongs to your mind. Okay, so if you are at this time, I'm not saying don't take the precautions, don't do the things that are necessary for you to do to make yourself uh, physically uh, safe uh, and away from all things that could harm you or your family. But what I'm trying to say is, listen, the more time you spend on accessing the media, the news, those viral clips that are going around, telling you that the economy is suffering, things are going to get bad, Ba 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 ba. The worst it's going to be for you. You know why? Because during the global financial crisis, during the crisis of the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and so on and so forth, there are companies and individuals who grow, and there are people who suffer. Why do those people grow, and why do people suffer? Is because the people who grow have chosen to grow. It's never the economy. It's actually what you're doing. Now, of course, we're very realistic and pragmatic and practical. We don't ignore what's happening, right? So if you've been laid off, uh, I hope you've not been laid off, but if you've been asked to stay at home without pay, for instance, if you've been asked to uh, work for half pay, so on and so forth, I want you to actually assess where you are, but do not, uh, do not, do not, do not uh, wallow in your situation. Try to focus on where you'd like to be, okay? For many of you, I don't want to say this, but 
I don't want to say it like this. I don't want to say it's too late for many of you because you've not spent time on investing in yourself when you had to. Hey, it's never too late. Start today. The number one book I would recommend that you should <laughs> pick up and read is Rich Dad Poor Dad if you haven't read it because it's going to give you a paradigm shift, especially if you are an employee somewhere, if you're working somewhere. It's going to help you shift your mindset to where it needs to be for you to start doing the one thing that you should do today, which is invest in yourself. I cannot emphasize this enough, okay? Because this is what happened for me during the 2008, 9, 10 period. I was wallowing in my own situation. Oh, the economy is bad. Oh, nobody's buying real estate. Oh, there are no jobs, so on and so forth. What really helped me, honest to God, was this one course that I attended. It was called, uh, it's called Strategic Negotiations at that time, but they've so far, they've now renamed the course to uh, The Art of Communication, or they, I think they call it now Bridging the Gap Between People Through the Art of Communication, so forth and so forth. But I still remember, bless this person, this guy's name, uh, Tariq Sharif. They were running the course in Emirates Towers. The course was, the top, the, Emirates Towers is one of those places where Bill Gates, when he used to visit Dubai, uh, stays. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a flamboyant five-star state-of-the-art hotel. So the workshop is a three-day workshop in that hotel. And bless this person, Tariq Sharif. He calls me and he says, I need you to attend this workshop. It's 3,000 dirhams, come and attend. And I was like, hey, Tariq, real estate sucks uh, right now. Uh, don't have a job, don't have income, got a wife, blah, 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 blah. What do you want, what do you think? What are you thinking? I ain't gonna attend a workshop. He calls me a couple of days, you know what he did? does on the last day? He says, you know what, I'm gonna cut you a favor. Because I know, I know that for you to get this job, you need to be out there meeting and networking people instead of staying at home. He said, I'm going to cut you a break. We've already paid for, I don't know how many people, 15, 20 people that need to be there. But we've not met our entire number of, I didn't know this at that time, but I know now. They had not met the entire number of people who were supposed to attend that workshop. So what he did was, he said, look, I'll let you attend the workshop for free. There's enough refreshments because, you know, when a five-star hotel is holding a, hosting a workshop, they give you tons of refreshments, but it's the lunch that you have to actually pay for, right? So the workshop organizers are paying for lunch. So he said, for the three days, just don't eat lunch, right? Survive on the refreshments. And you know what? I was very happy because five-star refreshments are like spring rolls, onion rolls, da -da 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 -da, pastries, unlimited coffee, etc. You don't really need lunch because you've got these refreshments that on a day-long workshop take place twice. So I survived on refreshments. I was pretty good. But the content that I learned in that workshop literally blew me off. It changed me. It helped me invest in myself and changed my programming and my mental thinking, right? And I actually, I landed a job after that for about like, um, even though I was still doing real estate, I ended up going and working somewhere. And then I used what I learned in that workshop to strategically negotiate, pay, package, etc., etc. What I What I did for this company uh, in return was uh, over the next uh, five, six, seven years, I've actually sent tens and tens of people back to them at, 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 at prices that are still 2000 plus per workshop in Dubai. But I benefited so much that I wanted others to benefit. I want to repay this company as well. Uh, and one of the workshops that literally changed my life was the strategic visions course. I did that in 2012 and now I actually teach it. I literally teach it for free. I charge a little bit of money for the people who come and attend so I can give them lunch and uh, organize the room and place, etc. But I don't keep any money for myself. I give it away to the people who are organizing it, my assistant who's helping me during the day, and part of it goes to lunch and stuff like that. But I personally think that this workshop changed me. I help others, cha others to change as well. I'll probably teach that workshop online now um, in the next couple of months or so, or maybe in the next month or next couple of weeks. I want you to, perhaps I'll record some videos and you can download them, but I want you to actually assess where you are now, where you want to be. Do not, I'm not even gonna say the word that you want me to, you know that I'm gonna say. Do not focus on that. Focus on where you would prefer and rather be honest to God.
I swear by God, I'll tell you this. If you sat down for one hour during the day in the morning and just daydreamed about your goals, it's better than spending that one hour because daydreaming about those goals, I hope if you're a normal human being, is going to catapult and push you and hopefully in some way motivate you to going towards that goal. So if you're daydreaming about having a private plane or finding the man of your dreams or woman of your dreams to marry or to have the job that you dream of, that's going to be better for you to get out of your seat and motivate yourself rather than spending time on just reading the newspaper or reading online or Netflix. Listen, now's the time to invest in yourself, okay? If you haven't, doesn't matter. Never too late to start. Start now. You will come out this situation stronger, inshallah. My prayers are with you. Everybody's in this together. The one beautiful thing about this situation is that everybody's in it together and everybody's helping, right? Landlords are slashing rents if they can. Uh, companies are giving, uh, are charging less, so on and so forth. I'm going to recommend that you pay attention to yourself to grow and move on to the next th next round. Come on, live for another round. I'll catch you on the other side. Hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. Catch you, catch you soon. All right, bye bye.